So what's the deal with the obsidian anklet, and why do I think it sucks? So, increases strength and magic attack, but prevents natural TP recovery at the start of your turn. So, what is the upside for this item? Let's, let's find out. Let's unequip it, and then let's equip it. So, decimal is at 48 strength, 51 magic. Cool. All right, so let's equip this. This must have a, a, tr a substantial upside for its downside. Okay, so it gives you plus five strength and magic attack. Great. Now, obviously, this is one of the best items for Decimal because he doesn't have natural TP recovery. And I feel like this item essentially exists for him. But if you were to use this on another unit... It's terrible. There's no reason to use this, and it's complete garbage. And also, even on Decimal, it's like slightly better than a Magic Bracelet. Like, let's look at a Magic Bracelet. Plus three Magic. And also grants immunity to Silence. Now, he already has immunity to, to uh, conditions, so this doesn't really help him. But you're talking about, if you were a Mage, getting plus two more Magic Attack, and also getting immunity... So Alright, so you get plus two more Magic Attack, and you lose TP regen. Or you get two less magic attack and immunity to silence which is good uh not not a, in a huge way because very few enemies even put conditions on you which is kind of a problem with this game where you tend to be putting conditions on enemies but they don't really put conditions on you but this idea of the obsidian anklet in my opinion is a bad one and it basically exists for one unit which is also stupid because you know, a rare artifact like this should be usable on more than one thing. The only other unit who could even make use of this would be Avlora, because she can just spam Risky Maneuver. So if we go to Avlora, she can actually do something for zero TP. She can use Risky Maneuver. Uh, but even so, getting rid of natural TP regeneration isn't worth two more strength when she wants to be using Bloody Cross, which is insane. So there's almost no units that can even make use of this, and even if you were to make use of this, it's terrible. Uh, plus 5 versus plus 3 is negligible. It's like a slight increase in effectiveness for healing or damage. So there's really no reason to ever run this on anyone but Decimal. And it's just like one of these items where it just kind of exists in the game and it's just poorly balanced for whatever reason. So if I were to change this item, I would change it, like if you're going to make an item that prevents TP recovery, it better be insane. Like this better be like plus, I don't know, 50% damage or something ridiculous. Like it has to be worth it because assuming Decimal doesn't exist or maybe Decimal also regens TP normally and they rebalance the game in some way. This item is terrible on everyone. There's no one who would really benefit from that extra two strength or magic attack to, to completely remove TP recovery. If they wanted to keep it as is and just increase the magnitude, like maybe give you plus 15 strength and magic attack, I think that's more of a trade-off. Even then, it's still annoying to play around, but if you're just running, if you're running Medina, it could be manageable. If you're running Medina and Julio, but, like, the downside of this item is so steep that only one unit can even use it, and it's because he doesn't even regen TP normally. So it's just kind of like a dumb item that I don't understand why it's in the game. It's just one of these things where it's there, but it's stupid. Now, one item that's more reasonable, that's similar to this, but even better, I think. Let's, uh, equip accessories. Let's see if someone, someone might have it equipped. We have all these items here. Let's see. The black anklet. Okay, actually this isn't as good. So this is plus three to all of these stats, but it deals damage. This one I think is a little bit more of a reasonable downside. Because what it does is it gives you plus three. Looks like it gives you plus three. Yeah, plus three to strength, physical, magic, strength, magic attack, magic defense, physical defense. The downside of this one is still kind of annoying. I think you take like roughly 50 damage at the start of your turn. And this one is kind of similar. This is more reasonable. More things could theoretically run this. Like you could put this on Flanagan, for example, and it, it, it could be okay because he heals a little bit at the start of his, each turn, the start of his turn. He heals and then takes damage, though, I'm pretty sure. So <laughs> he would still just be basically down 
X amount of like 50 health constantly. Because the way it would work is he heals, then he takes damage. Um, so then he would be at, you know, minus 50, then he would heal and then take damage. He would just constantly be at minus 50 health, basically. Uh, but this could be good on a unit like Flanagan. This could be good with uh, Vitality, Bangle. Because essentially this gives you plus 3 in, in uh, 4 different stats, so plus 12 total. Uh, but this is a more manageable downside versus the Obsidian Anklet. Uh, the, the big downside of this item, though, is you're getting a lot of uh, stat increases, but very few of them are relevant to a unit. So, for example, if I were to throw this on a mage, I don't really care about my physical and magic defense as a mage because if I'm just using my mage correctly and positioning it well, I don't need those, and I don't need strength in a mage, so it's basically just a bad magic bracelet because it still gives you plus three, uh, it doesn't prevent silence like the magic bracelet, and its downside is quite steep. Uh, mo losing health in a game where enemies kill you in two hits actually really does matter, <laughs> so it's kind of similar to the obsidian anklet. It's just kind of like a dumb item where you can use it, but it's not really super like high impact. Uh, generally taking damage for free is a massive downside. One thing they could do for Obsidian uh, Anklet and Black Anklet is reduce like movement or jump or reduce evasion or something like that. So it still reduces something that matters. Like maybe reduce it, maybe set your evasion to zero for Obsidian Anklet. That could be its downside so that any unit that has it equipped always will get hit by every attack because their their evasion is now zero. I think that would be more interesting. Um, TP, like, regen, for, for what it gives you, it's not worth it. For what it gives you, like, an extra two in magic, it's not worth it at all, and it's terrible. Plus, plus five strength versus plus three. Who cares? You know, it's no TP regen. Okay, that's, 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 a, that's too big of a downside. Uh, and then some items, like red anklet, this is okay. I think it gives you plus six when you kill something. It's either plus six or plus nine. If it's plus four, it's terrible because it's just circumstantial um, speed or uh, strength bracelet. Um, some of these items are better than others. Like red scarf is actually a really good item for units that are going to be last hitting because it just keeps healing them. Uh, Vanguard scarf is good for fresh save, I would say, mostly. On, on New Game Plus, I don't think you need it at all. Movement bangle is a perfect example of a good item. It just, it does exactly what you want it to. It just gives you movement. It's a pretty good item. No downsides. Rear Guard's Cloak is interesting. Uh, you can throw this on Eridor. And he already takes less damage when getting hit in the back. So you can just have him face away from enemies. And then he can just get hit for reduced damage. You can reduce it even further. And then uh, Res Earring is insane. Honestly, some of these things are so good it's ridiculous. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me that res earring is as good as it is and you get two of them and then things like black anklet which you can only ever get one of no matter how many times you new game plus are so dog shit and obsidian anklet are so dog shit by comparison like they're they're one-off artifacts it's fine if they're a little overpowered you can only get one of them like you could easily make it so that obsidian anklet gives you like plus 10 Actually, another thing you could do with uh, both of these is just reduce your max health. So Obsidian Anklet could be like uh, plus 10 strength, plus 10 magic attack, minus 50 health. That would balance it. Black Anklet could be similar. Um, plus, I don't know, plus 5 in all of those stats and then minus 1 move. That would be pretty balanced. Losing a move, that's like a, that's a big deal. Losing 1 move, that, that, that's a more reasonable downside than taking damage. Because, like, what you're getting for the damage you're taking is nothing. Like, plus three and a few stats. Some of these items, like, this is just used for farming. The Jade Thumb Ring, just used for gaining experience. Doesn't really matter in this game. Um, but overall, like, bracelets tend to be better than most of these rare items. Like, I would rather have a Speed Bracelet than a Van Yarn Scarf. Why is that? You get more turns. You get more turns, you can, you can manipulate turn order. That's way better than just acting first in the start of a battle. Unless there's an extremely good reason... That you need Vanguard Scarf. So, plus three speed is just better. Also grants immunity to immo immobility, which is just a nice little extra thing. But, plus three speed is just... Like, if you have two speed bracelets on a dude, that's plus six speed. That puts Decimal at 31 speed. He probably will go first anyways. This is another reason why Vanguard Scarf sucks. Uh, Red Scarf. Um, this one's okay, honestly. 
you get like 100 to 120 health on a kill. It's probably not as good as just having two HP bracelets to get, just have plus 100 health, because you can always restore lost health with healers and items. Uh, Rear Guard's Cloak is actually viable. Like, if we look at a lot of these rare items, they just suck. That's why I don't use them. They just suck. Um, like Vanguard Scarf, once you have speed bracelets, is bad. Uh, Red Scarf is okay, but there's better things to run. I would rather have things I can rely on. Like, killing an enemy isn't... Like, you never know who's going to last hit the enemy. Like, if you put it on, you know, Corinton or Frederica, they might... It might trigger randomly, but they're going to be next to healers anyways. Uh, those are usually who kills things in my team comps. Maybe like a Roland or a Maxwell. Maybe. But I'd rather have res earring and like accuracy or movement or something more high impact on a unit that's going to be mobile. So uh, Rear Guard's Cloak is one of the few things that actually is good. Red Anklet is like pretty circumstantial. Like a lot of this stuff is like really... It's like they think it's too good. So they, they made its downside huge and it's just not worth using. And there's, there's few exceptions, like obviously in the case of Decimal, he's the only unit who really can make good use of Obsidian Anklet. And he's a hard unit to use, and he, he doesn't cleanly fit into team comps. Like, you have to definitely run batteries to use him, and then otherwise he's just getting like half turns, which is terrible, and his low speed. Like, the, the big downside of Obsidian Anklet is I like to put speed on mages. Uh, I, I guess I could put a speed here, like for, instead of this. Like a speed amulet in this case, because I think all my bracelets are equipped. Oh, there we go, there's one. I would rather have speed over damage, because getting more turns means that you get extra damage in. So if he just had two speed bracelets, it's still probably better than Obsidian Anklet, assuming he's catching Fat Medina Battery. So, yeah. That is my Obsidian Anklet video, why I think it sucks. And why most of the artifacts in this game, and by artifacts I mean equipable items that there's only one of, suck. And they do. They're usually much worse than just like min-maxing based on what your team actually needs. Because they're too circumstantial or conditional or their downsides are not worth their upsides. And they, they overall net a huge downside. Like speed is one of the best stats in the game. If Obsidian Anklet gave a unit like plus 5 speed as well, I would actually consider running it on some units. Especially like Anna, uh, because with with high speed on Anna, she can just keep spamming items. So then you would you would negate her need for TP. So that could be an interesting use case. Um, arguably, you could use this on Anna and have her spam items, but stones don't get damage increase from magic increase. So unfortunately, that just doesn't matter, and they, you're you'd just be throwing out her deadly blaze whenever she needs it, which is stupid because it's really good and it's better than this. So, so yeah, most of the artifacts in this game are terrible. Uh, some of them, the, honestly, most bracelets are good. Um, Obsidian Anklet's fine on on uh, Decimal, but on anyone else, it's just dog shit. There are very few units, if any, that can benefit from it. Um, you could put it on a mage to give them an extra two magic, but that's not really worth it. <laughs> it's like barely, like barely helps them. So yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for checking this out. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video.